What is going on today, guys? As you guys saw by the title, I got myself a pair of Peloti driving shoes. Moving up a little bit, I'm getting a little bougie, but got them right here, so let's open them up. Let's get into it. Put Gorilla Tape over my address, and uh, Gorilla Tape's really tough, funnily enough. Woohoo! They have a nice looking box, as well as the fun bubble pop. They have a really nice looking box. Very high quality experience opening it up. However, they are packaged upside down. But there they are. These have a gorgeous color to them. Real carbon fiber. These are the Peloti Legacy S. Absolutely great unboxing experience, and these are just some good looking shoes, man. So some of the special details about the Legacy S include the Pagani Zonda style eyelets, which look great, actual carbon fiber on the sides, and then the Italian Tricolore stripe. Basically all Pelotis have this tire tread style, just foot tread, I don't know what you actually call this. Um, and it's extremely grippy rubber, wow. Like you can hear that. I can hear how grippy it is. Does not want to go anywhere. These shoes are uh, decently hefty. They're not the ultra lightweight shoes. So I'm gonna put these on and then we'll see how they feel. Okay, so I missed this when I was unboxing them. They have the Pagani logo right here, and then the Peloti logo on the right shoe. That's awesome. These are a very, very high quality leather. You can feel it. You can smell it even. Even looking down here, you can see they have perforated, super, so in the rear, it's a stiff supportive foam for your insole. And in the front, it's perforated, come on, perforated holes and it's a much thinner support, like less support, thinner insole. And that's nice because you wanna have extra pedal feel up in your toes, but you don't want to have a unsupported arch of your foot because that hurts for walking all day. While I'm putting them on, oh yeah, I got my alien socks from Toy Story because why not? They're my super thin socks and I'd actually probably wear these while driving. Now, what makes Peloti so special? Pelotes are designed to have heel roll control so you can move your foot between the pedals exceptionally easy. Driving foot, for example, you have it like this on your brake, you can roll it to the gas with their, they call it roll control. Hello, cat. Thank you for joining the video and rubbing on my tripod. These fit exceptionally well. I mean, I got a little lucky on this, honestly, because I am a size 12 Vans and Pelotis are said to run true to size. So I lucked out that they only had an 11 and a half left in this style. They're actually clearing out the Legacy S for their new whatever series they're filling it with next. Hello, cat. Where did your sister go? She was just in here. There we go, I got them on. Now standing in them, I can feel they're very tight, very stiff shoes. Like they're not, they're grippy around the sides and very comfortable, but they're very stiff when you rotate your foot side to side, which is a good thing. And that heel control is no joke. Wow, like that feels great. Walking around them is honestly a little bit of a slightly weird experience at first. They have a, um, like I said, they're very stiff. And because of that, it do, they don't naturally bend the way a shoe does when you're walking in it. I'm sure part of that is because they're handmade and brand new. Oh, you can't see me if I do that. I'm sure part of that is because they're handmade and brand new and because of that they need time to break in. They're also at the same time very stiff because they have a steel bar running through the center. Anyways, now that I've tried them on, I can sit down and explain why exactly driving shoes are important for car enthusiasts and why I chose Pelotis over Pumas or any other brand. Puma's the only one that I can think of at the moment. So driving shoes are designed to help you feel the pedal through your foot while you're driving. Obviously pedal feel in a car is important. In this case, I have my left shoe because clutch pedal, that's the one that I like to feel the most. Pelotis specifically are the brand I chose because I just love the style of them. These shoes are the Legacy S and they're based off of a collaboration with Pagani. 
as, you, as I mentioned earlier, they have all of the Pagani stuff, but Pelodi specifically has the patented roll control heel, which, as I mentioned earlier, actually is surprisingly useful compared to something like my Vans, like I was using earlier. The amount of precision you have without moving your foot is insane. They also have rolled over edges of the shoes, as you can see. Um, I don't know what you call this. Yeah, but they have rolled over edges here so that you don't catch a pedal as you transition from like your dead pedal to your clutch. You don't catch over here. It lets it just slide right off. Also, I just want to mention this carbon fiber, actual carbon fiber, exposed weave, and you can feel it when you rub your fingers across it. It's cool. Now, Pelotis are a bit more expensive than the average driving shoe. Their cheapest offering right now is about $120. However, sometimes they go on sale. These ones were rather expensive at about $220, but I think they're worth it because I'm going to get a lot of use with them over the next couple of years. And they just look good. Pelotis are handcrafted in Portugal using Italian grade leather, I believe. And you can just feel the actual quality in the shoe. It's insane. I am super excited to take these out and actually drive with them. So let's go get on the road. Okay, as you guys can plainly see, it's a different day because I realized I left my recording gear sitting up at campus and I was recording that video down at my house. So now that I've got my recording gear, I can record the video. So let's get going. Open up the exhaust, fire it up. Just closed and everybody is in a hurry to leave. So I've worn these shoes a few times between when I recorded that intro and now and I have to say roll control completely worth it. The benefits of it are not understated in any sense of the word. I have active rev matching turned on. I'm going to turn that off for y'all so that you guys can see me actually trying to rev match my car might not be the smoothest because I haven't done it in a while. But, let's roll on throttle and go. There's a wet spot on my thing. So you can see, because of the shape of the shoe, it is actually really easy to heel toe. Let's me actually get onto the brakes nice and easy because I'm not catching like you'd think I would. I can just go like that. No issues whatsoever. And then when it comes to heel toe downshifting, slam on the brakes. Super easy. Of course I say heel toe, but I have actually wide feet so I don't need to heel toe. I just need to sidestep downshift, I guess. So when it comes to everyday wear in the shoes, it it is a little interesting, I have to say, with the steel bar that prevents the flex. Very interesting to feel. It, you have to get used to it because there is that they don't flex like a normal shoe would. Uh, clutch feel in these is absolutely amazing. That perforated... Um, oh, Hellcat wide body. The clutch feel in these, like, with, like I mentioned earlier, with the perforated... Um, toe support, absolutely amazing. Let's see, like you saw right there, that was basically a perfect heel toe downshift. Clutch feel in these is great, that was not a good heel toe downshift. So, this thin front toe also lets you modulate the brakes really well, I noticed. So, I because I can go in. Stop I'm going on silence. Um, yeah, lets me modulate the brakes really well too because I can feel just how much pedal travel I have. Overall, they inspire definitely a great deal of confidence in driving. It's surprising the difference I made. Hello, somebody went over that curb. Like I was saying, when it comes to daily wear, the lack of flex does make it interesting when you're actually working on like your very first 
time wearing them. You get used to it very quickly. I've worn these now a couple of times. I'm 100% used to it and it feels really good, but it does take a little bit to get used to. exactly what they're advertised to be. I do think 220 bucks is a little expensive, but I did also get the more expensive Pagani pair, as I mentioned earlier. And that's just a personal style preference. Everything that's included that makes these good to drive is on every pair of Pelotes. All of the rounded corners, the heel control or roll control, um, everything like that, all included on every single pair of Pelotes, which makes it all the $120 new pair that they just launched. I think they're called the Shift. Great deal. I would 100% recommend those to anybody looking for driving shoes. I haven't had a chance to wear them. I don't see why they wouldn't be as good as these. downshifts right there it shows just how easy it is to learn with these shoes it's fantastic absolutely fantastic here I will change the light to a the closest to what I have down there so you guys can get a really good final view of these things there you can get one really good final view I have actually gotten quite a few compliments from these things just how good they look because the carbon fiber looks amazing in the sun but with that being said i don't have any more thoughts i love these shoes they are amazing they're great to wear they are super comfortable and i would recommend them to anybody looking for a pair of driving shoes if you can find a pair because i did just discontinue the legacies but pelotes in general knock yourself out they are 100 percent worth it so thank you guys so much for watching Please like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, goodbye. And what, or, you suck, cat. Hey, you're gonna have to leave.